What kind of fun do we have here? Ah, get your guys' mind out of the gutter. This is a chimney liner. If you didn't know it, now you do. This is uh, actually a clay lime chimney that we're dealing with, but it's starting to fall apart. As you'll later see, it, the system has been red tagged. They wanted this thing done back in 2019. It's 2024 and we're doing it today. Furnace has been running that whole time. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the full part of it. You have to stretch that thing out completely and uh, send it. Here you have to make your hole bigger, if you know what I mean. This could be a little bit of work. Uh, good forearm workout, that's for sure. If you don't drop the damn chisel, you'll be okay. I did it wait too many times. go we're picking it up again we're gonna chisel this thing out man this was a three inch vent pipe going in right now we got a 40,000 BTU for uh, water heater and a 60,000 BTU furnace we need to vent out uh, we can pull a five inch liner down and be just fine so only problem with that is you got to make this hole bigger now on those low boy furnaces they come out pretty low. So this water heater is about three feet venting higher than that furnace. And we're gonna be coming out in a T out of this top portion here and abandoning in that bottom and teeing off to the furnace and the water heater. Got your thimble in. And you blast through that clay. Like I said, those mental brakes are needed. And that is why you run a chimney liner. We're up here, right on the peak. Just set it down. Uh, wish I could have a better angle for you guys. We'll be got. <coughs> Do you imagine it's kind of like throwing a hot dog down the hallway? may get stuck on some things not all now she's all lined up recommend a roofer come and seal it but it's got silicone underneath heading back down to the basement we're all sealed up there done ladders put up there's that vent for the furnace we're just going to tee off into that while we were here this needed to be corrected before i ran that vent it's tied in up there, so I'm just going to cut it out and strip it. So we're just going to cut it, cut the bottom out. This is going up stairs uh, into a grill right now, so we're just going to keep it simple. Gotta check out these findings. I was kind of amazed it was that full, but I was very interested in that can there. Would there be some money? Mm. Nope, we're still working. Well, there we go. Duck cleaners need that to be fixed so they can clean their ducks. So we're gonna make that bottom now in fast speed. Got your corners out. Everything's gonna have a one inch tab going into that strip of the ductwork. We'll slide it in there nicely. <coughs> now we can finish off that vent. We're gonna keep that away from the doorway too. We're gonna have a nice little hanger off there. I don't think I got any footage of that. 
the best what was done with that vent. Here's some POV action of doing the water heater vent. We increased that from three to four. Honestly, that's because the only T that was in stock was a five by five by five. <laughs> Water heater starting to leak from all the back drafts not being lined. All right, we're gonna fit this up. We notice here that I need a 45. Here's a quick tip for you guys: if you line you, if you just line your lines up, you move them in closer and closer. If a straight line is a straight piece of pipe. The closer or further away you get is a 90, and in between is a 45, so there you go. Some little knowledge for you. My five by four reducer, we're gonna cut that piece out. Just kinda eyeball it, and just take off with the snips. that in there good just like a glove all right we got an armstrong unit here that has been tagged for chimney liner and that was back in 19. unit's still been vented let's see if we can get this thing working so we're going to check the combustion on it Let's get it going. On and popping. Bypass thermostat. No pilot. No pilot. Go out to the truck and get my map gas because I'm honest, I don't have a long I don't have a long lighter. This thing works good enough. If it works, it's got a lot of years on it, a lot of a lot of soldering jobs on this thing here. So we're gonna get that pilot hit. Eventually. All right, we got a pilot, but that pilot is looking terrible. I don't know if you guys noticed that black soot, but this is mainly probably the cause of that black soot. Um, you can see incomplete combustion there. So we're gonna blow out this pilot. Let's see how much dust just came out of that pilot assembly. Kind of blow in there, get all that stuff kind of out of there. I did take a vacuum. At the end of the job, to the whole thing, just so you know. All right. Now look at that pilot. No yellow tipping. We're hitting the thermal couple. This is just a pot belly. Should be ready for takeoff now. Heat exchanger here. Interested to see how efficient it is. Let's see if we're holding pilot. All right. We just need to bypass that thermostat again. Uh, let's see what we got. Is, um, bypass that thermostat real quick. Let's see what we get. Notice that rollout. Don't really mean much to me because that does have a cover on it. This thing is just in here. I'll let that heat out. This is what matters. I mean, this unit is old. Decent. Now I was able to get these numbers so closer to sufficient. spec um, by just slight yeah, adjust adjustments. Just the, band, just the gas pressure slightly. We've got our numbers looking a little bit better. Um, there you have it. Closer to nine. So I'm happy with that.